What's going on y'all? Today I'm going to be working on my 2017 Z2. I have to repair the oil cooler, or replace it I should say, because it's got some damage right here and it kind of seeps all out over time. And I've been rolling all year with it, all last year I should say, and I've been meaning to do it. I've had to part forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. I think it was like a hundred bucks for that on Jack Small engines. And at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil because the oil needs to be drained out so I don't make a mess when I'm changing this. And I picked this up at a discount store, a dollar a quart. I'll keep an eye out for any oil that ever goes on sale because oil is expensive now. Alright, so that's what the new part looks like. It's got two 3 8 bolts that holds it in place and just two hoses with clamps. And here's the model number if y'all need it. Like I said earlier, right here I've got a little damage where just friction of, uh, I think this hose was rubbing on it over time and it, it wore it thin and the oil would seep out time to time when it would get real hot. And I've worked it hard, so, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. Got to drain the oil first. Changing the oil is real easy. You just take this hose out from this little spot right here, right there, and you got an 11 16th and a 5 8 Break that loose. And what I do is I take this little funnel like this, and I'll wedge it in between the tire and the deck. And my drain pan is right under there, a shallow drain pan. So before I break loose the drain hose right here, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and let it idle for about a minute, warm up that oil some. So we got that draining. Also gonna remove the dipstick. That way the oil will drain out a little bit quicker. And after that drains a little while, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the oil filter off. That is another brand, by the way, that a dealership did for me. When they adjusted the valves, they did an oil change for me. So, this is the oil filter I'm using. I think they're all the same, pretty much, these Briggs & Stratton's. I'm trying to find a model number. Here you go. C1H1. I'm go ahead and pull that off and put this one on.
So there's no kind of room under here to put a pan, a drip pan or anything to catch the oil. I find the best thing to do is just layer it with a bunch of paper towels underneath so it'll soak it all up. Usually two of these blue ones do pretty good. Get something to catch the oil filter so it doesn't drip all over your mower. Now this oil filter that's in here is a little, a little long, so it's kind of hard because you, you unscrew into this. Might have to move this wire to want us to get it out. Like so. Clean all of this right here, make sure there's no debris on it. Screw this one on. I don't want to put that too tight, but you want to want it tight enough. Don't over tighten it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these clamps down. being stubborn. There we go. And I'm gonna take these two three eighths bolts off. That looks pretty gross. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up a little bit. Try to unplug this. Hopefully, it'll come out easy. All right, old one's out. All right, I'm gonna try to take this out. And there's still some oil down here, as you can see. It's not perfect. Probably gonna have to give it a bath afterwards. Spray a little super clean in, in there and rinse it off. It'll be all right. One thing to note, I don't know if you noticed this, is the fuel filter. As you can see, this is where it was damaged. This used to sit right here. So 
So it was damaged right here on the old one. This fuel filter right here used to just kind of sit against it and it sat real tight against it. And I guess the vibration over time just wore on it. And it ended up doing that. I don't know how it did that because it's plastic on aluminum, but it did it and it wore through. What I did is I tie wrapped it up here and I put a little piece of rubber so this wouldn't rub too much or vibrate, rattle. Also tie wrapped it here. Kind of relocated that because I don't know how it did it, but it used to be right here. So that way that won't happen to this one. Got these little boots on it. Go ahead and stick them on. And slide your clamps up. Like so. Now, I put my bolts back in. Don't want to over tighten it. All right, we're pretty much all drained out now. Just barely dripping. Go ahead and put my bolts back in. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up. Slide this back in place. Then I'm going to transfer my funnel up here. So I just put the two quarts in. I checked the dipstick. It was a little past full. I went ahead and ran it a little while because uh, it still had to circulate through the old cooler and through the hoses that drained out whenever I changed it. So I'm going to see where it sits. I'm gonna let it cool down and drain down. I'll check it again and make sure it's right at the full level. But that's pretty much it. Like, comment, subscribe. Move on.